What's up, sports bettors? Alex here, and we have four NBA games tomorrow. So I'm going to be taking you through my favorite plays, and I'm locking in a bet for Rockets versus Thunder. So again, on Odds Jam, it's completely free to browse NBA odds under this basketball tab, any game you want to look at. So we can see tomorrow this should be a relatively competitive game. The Thunder are best offered at minus 138 on FanDuel. And then the best price you can get on the Rockets is plus 127 on Pinnacle. So as a sharp sports better, we're always browsing odds. We're always looking to get the best possible line, right? So the way that Odds Jam works is it kind of takes all of this data in the sports betting market and tries to show you line discrepancies, spots with value. So the first thing I saw is lines in the Thunder Rockets game, I actually saw this using the screen, using the odds jam screen, started to move higher, right? So we ended up getting an arbitrage bet between win bet and pinnacle, right? So if you don't know what arbitrage is, we have a few tutorials on it, but essentially all of these sports books, right? They wanna be unique. They set lines independently, which you'll notice if you look at odds, for literally anything, right? So here we can see lines are moving in the Seahawks Raiders game, but more importantly, you'll you'll notice like wow, you know, 10 bet, they're giving us minus 205 on the Seahawks money line. BetMGM has minus 190. You know, Caesars minus 214. So every sports book sets lines independently. So when these sports books get so out of whack with each other, in one sports book typically is asleep at the wheel, you can bet on the over on one sports book, the under on another sports book, and make a risk-free profit, right? That's called arbitrage. Or you can bet on one team money line, you know, like, for example, in this Browns-Buccaneers game, maybe an arbitrage bet would be you can bet on the Browns on BetMGM, and you can bet on the Buccaneers on Barstool and earn a risk-free profit. That would be arbitrage. So here, there's an arbitrage bet between WinBet and Pinnacle. Pinnacle is known to be, you know, a very efficient, sharp betting market, the sharpest sports book in the world. So their lines typically move before the rest of the market, right? They take a lot of sharp action, a lot of big bets. So a lot of the early line movement or lineup changes, you'll see lines move on Pinnacle first. So they're a good leading indicator for what's gonna happen in the rest of the market. And again, whenever arbitrage exists, you know, by definition, you know one of these bets has to be profitable. If I can take the over on win bet, you know, this is just an arbitrage calculator. So you can click into an arbitrage calculator. And what this will tell you is, hey, if you bet, you know, $500 on the over on win bet and you put 435 on the under on pinnacle, you're, you'll earn a risk-free profit of 1868. 2% return, roughly 1.96%. So whenever arbitrage exists, you know, you know by definition one of these plays has to be profitable. So typically what I do is I just click into the odds and I see, hey, which sports book is off? And what you're gonna notice is like, whoa, you know, win bet, their line is at over under 231 half. Most sports books are at over under 233, right? DraftKings. Caesars, FanDuel, they're setting their line at over under 233. Bovada, BetMGM, and Betway, they have their line at 232 half, but juiced towards the over, right? Minus 115 on the over. So we're using all of this market information to see like, hey, yeah, WinBet is a point and a half kind of off from the rest of the market. You know, like we can get minus 110 on the over 231 half on WinBet, on BetMGM, over 232 half is minus 115. So you're getting worse odds, minus 115 versus minus 110, and it's a full point higher. So if there's, you know, 232 points in the game, our over on win bet would win, it would lose on BetMGM. So we use all this data in the market to kind of like tease out, yeah, there's pretty clear value on win bet being able to get this over at minus 110. Right, and then Pinnacle and Betway, they offer these alternate spreads, so we can compare the alternate lines on Pinnacle to to those on WinBet, and it's pretty clear we're getting value. Right, 
So what you can do is you can kind of like, you know, and I say this all the time, but when you're betting at minus 110 juice, a lot of people don't understand why picking up these like half points in value um, are a big deal. But if you go to an odds converter calculator, what you'll see is when you're betting at minus 110 odds, you know, you only need to win 52.38% of your wagers to break even, right? 52.38%. That is your break even win probability when betting at minus 110 odds. So if you're winning on spreads, totals 55% of the time, you're going to be super profitable, right? So being able to pick up those point, point and a half um, of value turns you from, you know, essentially winning on spreads and totals 50% of the time, like a recreational better, to 50, you know, 4% of the time, like a sharp better who wins in the long run. Um, so that's the first play I locked in. In Pinnacle, you can see they have the over at minus 138, the unders at plus 119. So if you put that into a no vig fair odds calculator, what you're going to notice is like, okay, if you remove the vig, according to Pinnacle's market, this wager should be winning 55.94% of the time. And if this is confusing to you, why we're using this calculator, you should read through this text like four or five times. It's really important, right? This is the most important calculator on Odds Jam because it takes a sportsbook's market, removes the vig, and tells you the win, the true, fair win probability for your bet. So essentially, when you're looking at wagers, this, their market, is more accurate than basically anything, right? Like they're telling you how often this game is going over 231 half versus under 231 half. Their win probability is much more accurate than any other metric you could get. And again, it's because this is the sharpest bookmaker with the most sophisticated sports betting models that are taking the largest wagers, right? Just like the stock market, sports betting supply and demand, wagers are set by supply and demand, and all information available at the time, right? So their odds reflect what the win probability for a wager is. So because the over is juiced, you know, we know the over is more likely to hit 55.94% of the time versus 44.06, right? And the more juiced the over is, the more likely the over is to hit, right? If the over were minus 180, you know, the over would be a lot more likely to hit than if it were minus 138. So long story short, this play is 55.94% to hit, right? We're betting at minus 110 odds, and I hit it for $1,100, which you can see right here. So our wager has, you know, $74 in profit margin, which you can see right here. Right, so you can back out your EV percentage. So there's a lot of math in this video, and if you have any questions, you can comment them below. We also have a bunch of other tutorial videos I'll kind of leave in the end screen. Um, another thing I'd like to mention is I'll be giving out more plays on Twitter. I've also been writing, so you can ask questions on Twitter. I've also been writing more on the Odds Jam blog, just about strategies to make money sports betting. So you can feel free to like read through these articles and stuff like that as well. Um, but anyways, let's continue to go through. So I also had, um, right, this applies not only to, you know, um, the, the NBA, but also college basketball. So I locked in Robert Morris versus Evansville under 133 points and over 135 half in UIC versus Green Bay. Both plays for 750 bucks. Both arbitrage bets, you know, you can see just picked up on this page. And again, like I say this all the time, but I ride with you guys on any play I give out, right? We had the Nuggets minus three and a half. We had, you know, Butler, NC State. Like all these plays are sharp, mathematically profitable. I'm riding with you guys just following value. So here we can see for this UIC Green Bay play, we're able to get over 135 half. Every other sports book has it a point and a half or two points higher, right? So really clear value here. So I added all these plays to my sheet where I'm tracking profit and loss. You can see these three here. And let's make some money.